Good day and welcome to video number two of the 2023 NCA statistic paper called Poverty Distribution. Without further ado, let's try to solve question 1A part 2 and this is a merit question and if you can do this then we will no in fact it is an excellent question i just checked my marking schedule and it's an excellent question so they tell you say it is commonly known that sheep tend to flock together i mean they go together as a group give two reasons why this piece of information may affect your choice of poverty distribution and is required to modeling the number of sheep per hectare on new zealand hills and mountain and you remember video number one we claim that is a poisson distribution to get a Poisson distribution, there are five conditions. It must be a random event. It cannot occur simultaneously. It must be discrete within a continuous interval. It must be independent event. And the rate of event occurring is constant. So we are going to argue this is actually all uh, obtained from the marking schedule. And I'm going to explain for each one. First, it is non-random. Non-random event. So we're going to say the location of sheep per hectare may not be random and predictable as their flocking behavior will mean that you can predict where, where the sheep are likely to be. So the Poisson distribution is not appropriate. That's called they are not random. Okay. Secondly, they are not independent. The location of one sheep in a particular hectare may affect the location of other sheep. Okay. Independent and sheep flock together. Where one sheep is, the others are also likely to be nearby. So again, it is not independent. So the Poisson distribution is not appropriate. And last but not least, we're going to do the uh, event number five, rate of event occurring is constant. So the average rate in which the sheep are found may not be a constant so over a different area of land. Due to their flocking behavior, some hectares are more likely to have more sheep in them and others are likely to have no sheep. So the rate of sheep per hectare will not be a constant but will vary from hectare to hectare so the Poisson distribution is not appropriate so you can give two of the three answer that will be a solid excellence question so if you can get this right e7 for you so and now we are going to do part question 1b part 2 in the next video cheers everyone and have a great day